my knees right. are really You're live. I'm live. Hi, how's everybody? We're doing it from the shop today. So I'm gonna make Drew run around the shop. So um do we start with the drawer or do I do the tour? No, no, we'll, Give we'll people a chance drawer, yeah, to to get online. Right, there's not anything new come in this week, I don't think. Um Oh, apart from the pots, you've seen the pots, haven't you? Look at those, how sparkly are those? Is... I've got this one. I'm thinking I might need another one. Um, you saw these. I showed you these, didn't I? All the, all the layer. The last one to do something for her chanda, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's all applique and everything, and I got really quite. But I've been told I'm not allowed to start it until I've done. The things that I have to do. We do Aurafil and then we've got the the little things nice for people's stocking fillers so you've got the pins there's four different pinny things in there so you've got safety pins, um, pearl heads, plastic heads, steel pins. Um, I think steel means that they're not going to um, they're not going to melt in the wash, go rusty if you wash them. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, I don't know whether you're new to us, but we have we have all sorts of merch. These need to go in the merchandise bit as well. So we have White Gecko books. Um, so we have this one, blue, but black and white, with a little white Gecko hand. And then you've got a rainbow one. And then ones with dressmaking things on it. But inside, inside the covers, they're all lined. Okay, so they're lined. But inside the covers, this tells you what you can get out of a fat quarter. So, you know, if you've only got two and a half inch strips, this is how many you can get. You can get 42 three inch squares or you can get 56 two and a half inch squares. Did you know you could get 26 two and a half inch squares out of a fat quarter? I didn't, um, I didn't. So, uh, so you've got that and then on the back, it tells you uh, about cutting a fat quarter, size they are. And then down here, it tells you what size a single, a double, a king or a super king quilt would be. You know that's approximate on a cot um so those those are really cool and that's that's in each one of these things okay um so you've got that sarah showed you the cut and press boards uh what else we got come over here we've got a lot of fat quarters but if you come into the shop we'll cut your fat quarter I sold the brights, but look at that. How lush is that? That's so cool. Um, don't buy this because then if there's one left over at Christmas, I might have one myself. How many is that, Drew? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times three is 24? Yes. Yeah, 24. You get 24 of those um, in beautiful colours. Uh, we have haberdashery. Is anybody there or am I talking yeah, to myself? Yeah? Haberdashery of all sorts of things. And if we haven't got it, we will um, just let us know and we can order it for you. Um, what else have we got? We've got some farm charm. And uh, what's this one? That one's Regency Rose. Uh, La Rue 1800. Oh, La Rue 1800. We've also got uh, La Rue in 108 in a um, and a pink. That pink. It's really okay. nice. Okay, come this way. Just a quick. Just tour. have a quick look. You know, we have silks and perle. We have pom-pom trim of all sorts of colours. Uh, we have beans. Polystyrene beans. I bet you didn't even know that we had that. I think we have polystyrene eggs somewhere. 
and pom-poms. Um, we have all our solids. solids, thanks Sarah, and our, um, I'll get the word now in a minute. Spray time. Spray time. <laughs> there. And our white on whites and a chair. And then we've got Christmas. Let's go for Christmas. We have quite a lot of Christmas. We've got the Lewis and Irene Christmas here. And this is new in this Moda one. Um, it's a beautiful, I don't know, um, muted green. I quite like that. And then we've got the Macowers and the Studio E and the Riley Blake and the Liberty and the Moda. And we've got probably every Christmas that they all did anyway. Um, it's very selective. <laughs> we were very selective, but it keeps turning up. So, um, just got... to give you give you a taste, really, isn't it? Yeah. Most ninety nine percent of it's on the website. So when you're looking, if you've seen something you like, check out the website tomorrow. Um, yeah, yeah, because there's a bit, there's an offer. <laughs> there is, yes. Um, right. So in order to get the fifty percent off, yeah, is five. We're drawing five names. We're going to draw five names, right, of people. Before we do, are there any things that we should be... Uh, everyone's saying hi. We've got the usual Nicola, uh, Taryn, Sandra, Suzanne, Heather, Angela, uh, Helen. Just checking any questions. Uh, Karen and asked are the books on the website? Yes. Um, yes, I believe yes. so. Yes. I don't know where they are. We're, I'll... Um, I'll go back on and I'll put them in the merchandise bit as well, mm. as wherever they yeah. are. You might find them in Haberdashery. I'll put a link on in a second. They're so cool. And the journal cover that we did on Hachanda, which we have, you can find the pattern, fits it perfectly. Right, five so, names. So this was everybody that commented on the post. Um, you had to like, tag somebody and share it. So everybody who did that and all the comments have all gone into a draw and we're going to draw five names and each of these five names are going to get a 50% off code we will send them to you via Facebook Messenger we'll send each person that gets drawn um, a individual code and that will give you 50% off your order tomorrow on the website okay um, you can only tomorrow use the code only. yeah tomorrow only you can't do it on Saturday it expires it's tomorrow okay um, you can only use the code once so don't go oh, I you know, I'm just going to order a meter fabric and then go and have a look because the code doesn't expire. Expire, not it's all it's valid for the 24 hours. So you know, put everything in your basket you want first. You might only want 10 pounds worth of stuff, and you'll only pay a fiver for it. Okay, but you might want 100 pounds worth of stuff, and you pay 50 quid for it. So we're going to draw five names. Okay, so everybody's gone in the pot. You can give them a really good shake. Go for it. Pick one out. Right, I got okay. one. So the you first pick. one is Owen Parry. Owen Parry, so you're the first one. So you'll get a 50% off code. And the next one is Rebecca Barker. You'll get the second one. I've got two there. Oh, there we go. Taryn James, you've done well this month. <laughs> Wendy McTiffin. You're the fourth one. And the last person. I hope your um, house is clean for Hang on, Wendy. let's let Drew do the last oh, one. Oh, yeah. Drew, Drew, get your hand in there and do the last one. Okay, have a good rummage. That one. Yeah, yeah. Last one is Andy Griffiths. Okay? So you'll, you will all get a 50% off code. That will be coming through via Facebook Messenger. Okay? Everybody else tomorrow, so there will be a post going up. Everybody else tomorrow will get a code which gives you five pound off any order over twenty quid. Okay. And for so. that five pound, you could <laughs> buy a tote bag. Look Even at those that. tote bags. I know. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a, a top out of it, I think. <laughs> and then have my or we pin just... badge. Oh, or you could just have a t-shirt printed with it. I, I hope. could, couldn't I? I'm going to make the trolley tokens into earrings. I I full gecko. Congratulations, these five people will get well codes done. over to you. Okay, so before we start, 
we're doing trash bags today. Before we start, I finished my gecko. I would like to introduce you to Gino, the white gecko, the guzzling gecko, gin for short. And what do geckos like? Geckos like gin. So yeah, I finished him off. He came out a little bit bigger than we were expecting. He's very handsy. Um, if you filled him with rice, you could use him as a heat bag. You know, imagine those those full filled with rice coming over your shoulder. Um, so I hope. Um, see, I do finish some things. Okay, trash bags. This is my trash bag. Okay. Um, the idea is that they're open, that you haven't got to go looking for it. You can just do that in the in the car, and it's poppered. Now you could do it so that you've got two ties, um, and then you can you know, put them on the. Um, sorry, my brain went off in the, off in the thing. Um, put it's long enough so that you could put it around the head headrest um, or you could leave it in two ties and tie them on all right so I've already cut mine out but I thought I would show you how I cut it so that um, you're able to see how I got it out of the fat uh, fat quarter what I did was I layered layered my two my inside and my outside fat quarters together like that then I'm going to use the mat to um, measure, okay? So we've got the 22 going along this way and the 20, just over 20 going the other way. Uh, the, the, the rectangles you need for the bag are 10 by 17, all right? So if you cut your 17 from this side, this will make two trash bags then, right? So you cut your 17 there. You're going to cut that in half in a bit and that makes your two um, your straps. So you're going to, no, you're going to leave it like that because you've got two. You would have another one underneath. Then you're going to turn this one and cut it in half. So you would end up with your 10, that one's going to be about 10 and a half but you would end up with your 10 by 17 all right how clever is that and it all comes out the fat quarter you cut the this bit off and it will make uh it's wide enough for a strap all right so drew's struggling because he's having to lift it up here because i'm higher i'm not sat down on the so it's harder to not rest it right okay so that would be you would have two pieces so you would have an um the other piece would be your outside and your inside okay and then you'd be able to make two trash bags from two fat quarters where am i going with this right start with your strap you're going to take your strap you're going to fold it in half have got an iron really fold it in half okay like that you've all done this before you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to fold it in it's all done sir Fair enough. um i said thought you've got you. an iron yeah do you need an iron <laughs> i was ready she's <laughs> clever she reads my mind okay so you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to fold your edges back in like that and then fold them in together okay and then top stitch up one oh is there there it's good before you um finish you need one of them to be tidy like all right so you need to do that with it and it will all fold in like that so you're going to go up one side across the top and down the other like that just like that 
okay so i've done it in a coordinating color it's going in the car i had white on the back i didn't have an orange in my bobbin okay so that's how we do it oh look i've got full moon half moon total eclipse now i've got my 10 by 17 already cut out in my two different fabrics that's my outside fabric that's my inside fabric okay if you want it indicated like i normally do then but we decided that i should stop trying to make it so difficult for myself but if you wanted pockets on it if you take one of your uh take a 10 by 17 you could place it on there okay i obviously picked up the large one so up around it which would give you different pockets going round okay i could do that um and then deal with that as a separate piece okay so we're going to take our pieces we're going to put them together right sides together so you're folding it um you're doing it with the long long end horizontal does that make sense you want your 17 inch at the bottom and your 10s going up the side and you're going to sew the two short edges together using a quarter of an inch surprise surprise okay now we haven't used this machine for a while so i did test it out which is a beautiful little stitcher which really well so I've done that one it's a chain piece now normally I forget to put the hole in it you want a hole in the, ooh, in this bit okay so this is going up the side so go along here and I'll reverse is there any questions Drew while I'm doing this bit no Marie wants a Jaffa cake now <gasps> I've got Jaffa cakes in the cupboard ready for my kiddies I'm still looking for a biscuit barrel. I might just give in and get a Jim Bob Art one. There we go. So I'm going to go all the way up. I've left the hole for turning out purposes. I'm still looking for the buttons. Okay, so I left a, a hole there, hopefully for turning out. We're then going to take them dropping everything there uh where am i right we're going to sew the bottoms now i've got a directional fabric make sure that you put the bottom on the bottom end not on the top end because you won't get any trash in there otherwise so that was really badly okay so anybody out there having a have you all done the hunt the gecko um you need to go through the website there are five geckos hidden um i found one of them uh but you they're not that hard to find you just need to keep going they're all in different places Ugh. See? I've already done that wrong. I missed a bit. I need to uh, talk amongst yourselves a minute. Right. Again, we learn by me going wrong. Uh, what? Uh, anything that they... Talk to me, Drew. Tell me something, uh, something I don't An know. Angela said she's found them eventually. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is worth keeping an, um, a go, okay? Um, keep keep looking, because uh, it's worth it. You could be 
up for £50 gift voucher. It is that one that's the £50 gift voucher, I think. Um, I mean, you all get £5. A £50 gift voucher would be uh, ideal. Right, before you sew the bottom, like a dilly, let me see where I've gone wrong there. Right, what you need to do is put that in the middle. Okay, you want to put that in the middle and then you're going to iron that. Sew it better than me. Iron that open. Okay, and then we are going to sew the bottom. Right. Do I miss my machine when I haven't got it? Right, we're going to sew the bottom like this. Now this, I've taken this pattern from the thread catcher pattern. So just buy the thread catcher pattern and just don't do the sandbag. That's uh, what I've done. Like I say, I make things so complicated, <laughs> like Gordon, that uh, it you need to... Um, slow down sometimes okay what we're going to do is we're going to make a boxed boxed end so that it's it stays open see like that we're going to make that now i know sarah's shown you these before but we're going to go through it again now on the thread patch uh, thread catcher pattern it says to do it one and a half okay but I want it slightly bigger, so I went two and a half. You know how I like small things? Two and a half. So if you line up your red mark or your mark on your on your ruler with your uh, seam, it should be very fairly straight. And then you just line up so that you've got your two and a half. Okay? And then we are going to draw a line like that okay june said if the kids were allowed to go trick-or-treating uh, trick treating, it would make a great collection bag it would it would what i want to do was uh, get some rubber gloves and fill them with sweets so that when they came to the door i could give them the uh just a rubber bag if they haven't got to go rummaging around in the sweets Okay, so that's that one. It was like food bags or something. Like food, oh, yeah, but it was the fact that it was a hand, a spooky hand uh. filled with sweets. I've bought sweets. I have two, um, two large things of uh, um, chocolates. So I might just have to eat them myself. Um, I'll take some off your hands uh, if you want. Will you? Yeah, if you don't want them. Okay, I'm trick or treating. Okay. And I'll throw them at you. <laughs> <laughs> Covid rules. I'm going to show up on your house on Saturday. Then. <laughs> yeah. <Just. sighs> so, we've boxed the one. Now, you could cut the, the ends off, but I wouldn't. And go back and forth on the ends, which I haven't done again. Right. Let's go through that again. This one's not directional, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. So you'll have ironed your, um, what's this called? Seam. You'll have ironed your seam open. Make sure it should, that should have one. Well, one of the boxes, you probably will love. That's it, that's it sorted. One for me, one for Meg. <laughs> sorted. <laughs> There we go. So you're going to do that. You're going to sew along the bottom and then we're going to make your corners again. All right. Before anybody else says anything, I only have the two. I mean, they're big tubs, mind. Well, Sandra said I, I, I'd, get, I'd help getting rid of them. Yeah, if we were in class, they'd probably come to class. I'll, I'll bring them to the shop and we'll just oh you can't come to the shop I'd have to eat them myself 
I could put a handful in all your orders, couldn't I? I can hear Dave going, no, they're ours. So, again, two and a half. Like I say, this is really simple. And when you see it being done, um, you realise how simple your um, the thread catchers are as well. Um, all you need for your thread catcher really is your sand. The, the bag full. We buy play sand because it's already been um, cleaned. I think mine, actually, I had a bag of sand in the garden that was left over from doing the, um, the patio. So I just used that. And my llamas are fine. Any other things people are saying? Uh, Jean said you could put the chocolates in each of Friday's orders. I could, couldn't I? We'll consider it. I don't know how long they'd last in the package here. Yeah. Yeah. They could melt. They could melt all over your, your, your work. Hello? Hey, I'm just going to interrupt just a second. Ladies, just to let you know, I, oh, I Facebook messaged those five winners so check out your messenger, okay? And the code will be on there. You've all got individual codes, but you, they've all been sent by a messenger. So you need to go on there and to get your code, okay? Right. Okay, so we now have our little bags, okay? I'm gonna turn your outside one the right way round. And then you're going to line up, you're going to put it inside. So, of course, now you're putting your fabrics right sides together. You're going to put them inside like this. And line up your, line up your uh, seams, which you've pressed open. So you line those up. And you put pins in them if you have any. Okay, so you're going to line those up like that and you're going to take your strap and you're going to put, look at that, I've got posh ends on both, oh no I haven't, you're going to put the one that uh, isn't the posh end, unless of course you've done both posh ends, you're going to shove that down and have your raw edges together. Now I did it a thumbs width. Okay, from the seam you've got to get all of those in between the two you know the, the in between the two right sizes so I've got fat thumbs so I put them there it's a long strap so just have it sticking out a little bit so that you know where it is okay then you can pin that in place as you're going round okay Make sure you pin it all the way around. I have a needle here instead of a pin. If only I had a thread catcher like that. Now we've got the hole here for turning out, so we're going to um, we're going to go all the way round. If you can take your bit off, that's better. Now I'm going to do it from from just before the strap. So I'm going to go over the strap twice. Well, actually, it's at three times, doesn't it? One, two, three. Yeah. Anything there, Drew? While I'm doing this. Jean uh, said you can use rice instead of sand. Yes, you could. Um, you can also use, is it walnut? walnuts? There are places where you can buy crushed walnuts, which are good for the pins. You could put, uh, you want it to be heavy, that's why we use the sand, which helps with your pins as well as you're going round, uh, as you're pushing them in and out. You could put um, that steel wire that we were talking about the other day. 
can put that there as well. You can see it's really quick. Um, while I've got your attention, we have uh, two classes. Sarah did mention them yesterday. This is the Leslie bag. Uh, it's got pockets and a zip. And it's really... Uh, we've got one lady, she calls it her puffin bag. Because her first one was made with puffins. Puffin fabric. And um, she loves it. She's made loads for everybody. Right, with this... Pull it out through the hole. And then yesterday I sewed up the hole. Then I had to unpick it again because I'd forgotten the strap in. Ah. Right. So you have your bag like this. You're going to push your inside, inside. And then go round. You would do this with your iron as well if you had one. But uh, if you've got a good pinch, which most of us have, you can go round and just um, go round and give yourself a proper, proper sharp seam. Do all tidy like. Okay. Um, so you're going to go all the way round, all the way round. These are the bits that take the time, isn't it? They're not ones that you, things that you can um, do ahead of time either. Um, so did you all like my Gino, Gino Gecko? Yeah, we had, we had a few comments on him a few minutes ago. Uh, and uh, Suzanne said she loved him. Grace said he loves him. Maria, uh, yeah, Maria loves him. Natalie said he's cute. I'm not quite sure what you would do with him. That's the thing, unless you made him into, you know, a heat bag. Uh, one thing you could do is, I suppose, split his belly and put some Velcro in there, um, and do the heat bag as so it's separate. So you could stuff his head and stuff his tail, um, so that you just put the heat bag in there every now and again. Right. We're going to put strapping in. Now the strapping you want to cut at about 17 and a half um, and I've sellotaped it together into the circle. So you, now, now you've got your nice crisp seam, you're going to pull the bag back out and find the hole. Look at that. So artfully disguised. Okay, so with the bag, now you've located the hole. You want to put this circle that you've made in and then push the bag down with it inside the middle of the circle. Okay, so you're going to make it all tidy. I've lost it. <laughs> okay, like that. So again, you're going to push it up so that it goes up onto your, into your crisp seam. Now, as you fiddle with it, sorry, Drew. Okay. Um, as you fiddle with it, you can you'll be able to push it and pull it all so that the the seam sits on one side or the other. You can feel that with your fingers when you're doing it. But um, it means that it will sit right. Now, I pulled pins out and just dumped them. Make, so you can make a hole in his belly and you could do a PJ holder for your bed? You could. Only if you wear baby doll nighties or you're small, like El Erin and Elsie. But you wouldn't get my pyjamas in there, I'm telling you. So, right. Uh, off we go. Round there. Oh. So I, what I'm doing is I'm pinning to keep the strapping in place there okay and then we're just going to sew all the way round again just to hold it in hold it in place so it's not dropping out all the time I'm being a real dilly here 
I can't get that up. There we go. Don't get blood everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to start here because I'm going to do all my backwards and forwards in, which will be at the back then. Yesterday I did it at the front, which was a bit silly. Quite like the idea of earrings that with the trolley tokens. You'd have it with you all the time, wouldn't you? Right, now, if I put that back there, over here so you need to work out where where it needs to be where you need to have your, your point so that your needle is going in the right place all the time and you don't have to do it dead tight if you feel you can see where it where it is as you're going around because some some machines are a bit wussy and want, want going round and round. Well, I don't know what the weather's like with you lot, but I bought a car today. That's like the second time I've bought a car since uh, we did the sponsored walk because it was raining so much. I thought I'm going to have to take two sets of clothes with me, one to wear there and change I can hear it going through the packing tape there we go and back again now I would have done this in orange at home um, like I did the other one just because it pleases me and I have orange orange cotton which if you bought one of those moon thread things you too would have we also do a box where we pick out 20 different colors um of moon threads um i think that's on the website as well right i'm going to put a um cam snap or the cheap equivalent of cam snap that i've got um since i was taught how to use these i've loved them I, I use them a lot. Uh, they sat there for about a year because I didn't know what colour, uh, what, um, how to use them. So you need uh, a backing, a male bit, and another backing. There we go. I'm going to do them in black this time. So choose whether you want it to go inside or outside because it's going to look the same come snappy wise whichever way you do it so we're going to go this way this time so if you've never come snapped you push it through i should have taken the color shouldn't i really Hang on. let's do a color you can see what i'm doing then look they've all gone everywhere now it does not please me I like them in their own colours. Right, okay. So, I'm just pushing it through. Now, I used to make a hole for these. Um, but I found that it was um, too big then. If I stuck stuck a, a hole in the fabric, what's best for you, Drew? There? That's what I mean. Right, so you're going to lay the flat bit like that. In the scoopy bit on your on your kajunka. I don't know what they're called. Um, and then you lay your female or your male part on the top and then squash. Oh. See? And it's there. Don't go in for a second squash because it really doesn't work. So I've got a thumb width there. So I'm going to go thumb width this way and then I'm going to push that in and put, oh, that's upside down, put the female part on top, okay? And again, the scoopy bit, 
goes underneath and it sits in there you can feel it pop in and squeeze like that there you go and this this goes like that okay and there we have another bag that's yours meg um just pull out the the inside and sew up either hand sew or top stitch i top stitched and you have a bag now if you want to make it into a thread catcher you would have had the uh sand bag and then two of these but it's exactly the same okay um any questions no makes a nice headband ah thanks meg yeah my daughter made this one she's crocheted me a few of them they're really comfy too so crocheted headbands is the way to go folks um right that's me we're back tomorrow at six we've done the draw talk to you oh i've got a class going on next thursday and i've got spaces left on it we're going to do machine cover machine sewing machine covers which you could then adapt for your kitchen appliances and you know i could make one for daphne if need be if you know there <laughs> would, uh, would be a lot of fabric <laughs> i made one for my it's a bit cobbled together it's a mass of fabric it's huge um, but it works oh gecko hunt drawn at five tomorrow so get have a look for your geckos okay they are all there we have had quite a few of you have done it and it's worth 50 pound um, it's worth the it, in your cup of tea doing it okay so machine cover that's next next thursday um you can buy them on the website the the classes um buy them on the class uh, on the website and uh you supply your own fabric okay um uh, website offers tomorrow there's all sorts we just put an, another load of clearance fabrics on there um so have a look at those uh, drawing at five and we're on live tomorrow at six um sarah will be doing most of the talking so it's going to be a lot more concise than if it's me but i'll be chipping in and drew will be here okay um i might bring a tub of sweets as well so we'll see you tomorrow at six bye